Commentary The Lock Room from the New York Trilogy by Paul Aster Information, Form and Style of the Book The third long novel of Paul Aster published in 1987, and the last book of the New York Trilogy. The description is written by the viewpoint of the first person, different to former two novels, City of Glass and Ghosts, this novel doesn't borrow the form of detective stories, but this story sought Fanshawe's whereabouts, solves the riddle of him and find his true intention, and true theme of this novel is questions about writing a novel, today's people's identity and the meaning of life. The episodes and the histories of the narrator and Fanshawe resemble Paul Astor's real experiences. He wrote in an autobiographical book, The Art of Hunger. I think this novel is an autobiographical novel in certain amount, and a novel for self-reflection. Synopsis Fanshawe was the best friend of mine. He was smart, sophisticated and striking but excellent normal boy, dropped out of Harvard. He became a crew of an oil tanker, then wandered around Paris and South France, and he wrote much of writing such as novels, poetry, dramas and notebooks, but he didn't want to publish them. He got back to the United States, then he married Sophie, but he suddenly disappeared from her, after three or four months he had promised he would publish the manuscripts within a year. Sophie requested me to publish Fanshawe's manuscripts, then Fanshawe's books earned a great reputation and sold well, so we got a certain amount of money from the books and I became a kind of agent of his books and wrote articles and reviews about him. I got the job to write a biography of Fanshawe, so I went to Paris and South France for searching the traces of him, then I lost myself in searching for and thinking about Fanshawe. Characters The narrator, an up-and-coming critic and writer, he was not 30 years old yet, but already had something of a reputation, but his wish was to become a novelist, he had wrote a great many paltry articles, but the work was to earn a livelihood, he accepted the request by Sophie that he publish the manuscripts written by Fanshawe. So he became a kind of agent of Fanshawe's books and wrote articles and reviews about Fanshawe, then he couldn't write his own novel. By the current time of this novel, May 1984, he had written two novels City of Glass, Ghosts, and he was writing this novel. The model might be Paul Laster himself. Fanshawe the best friend of the narrator in the childhood, a precocious, smart, brilliant, fascinating and ideal normal boy was full of voluntary goodwill, the narrator sometimes admired Fanshawe's characteristics and sometimes felt Fanshawe was alien to him by the excellence, he would talk to the narrator about the importance of tasking life such as making things hard for yourself and searching out the unknown. When the stringent life in country and its solitude gave him a sage way into a self and an instrument of discovery, he became a prominent writer. Novels, blackouts and miracles were written in Paris. The long sequence of poems groundwork was written in the country. After he had backed in US, lived in New York, and never had regular job because money didn't mean much to him. When Fanshawe and Sophie began living together, Fanshawe didn't work and began to devote himself to write novels, 
dramas, poetry and so on, but he didn't try to publish, and they made a promise that he would publish his manuscripts within a year, but he disappeared after three or four months from the day they had made the promise. He stayed in the south and the southwest of U.S. When he stayed in New Mexico, he knew his book was published. He backed to New York and watched the narrator, Sophie and Ben for six to eight months, and he want to put an end to the narrator, and he became a crewman of a Greek freighter. Then he got back U.S. and stayed in Boston as the name of Henry Dark. He left a hundred poems, three novels, two novelettes, miracles, blackouts and a long novel, Neverland, five one-act plays and thirty notebooks. Also, the model of Fanshawe might be Paul Laster himself. Sophie Fanshawe, the wife of Fanshawe, a beautiful, thin and average height woman with long brown hair and dark intelligent eye. She taught music in a private school. Ben, the son of Fanshawe and Sophie, when the narrator first met him, he had been born just three and a half months ago. Quinn, a private detective, Sophie hired to search and find Fanshawe. He found Fanshawe two times, in New York and the South, but he was threatened by Fanshawe. Fanshawe made him didn't report on the whereabouts. Other characters are listed below. Locations appeared on this novel are below, New York, New Jersey, Fanshawe's mother lived in, Paris, Fanshawe lived in Paris for three years, the narrator flied across Paris to seek the traces of Fanshawe, South France, Fanshawe stayed at the Deadman's country house in the Var, Boston, in 1982, Fanshawe lived in Boston. Key elements and key phrases Construction sites and cardboard box Playing around construction sites and playing in a cardboard box imply Aster's writing policy like the method of bricolage. The episode Fanshawe was deep in a cardboard box connects his solitude in the lock room of the country house. Whether or not a writer has a real life anyway, I think this phrase signifies the most important theme of this novel as the meaning of writing. Fanshawe and the narrator also Paul Laster pursued a real life of a novelist. Fanshawe condemned to the solitude in the locked room, he found a sage way into a self. The narrator sought Fanshawe. But he had been swayed by Fanshawe and his life and he lost himself and ruined his family. Then he overcame the shadow of Fanshawe by he wrote this novel. Biography of Fanshawe To write Fanshawe's biography was paradoxical thing and act. The act made solid also erased and terminated the existence of real Fanshawe and the narrator created a story about Fanshawe without Fanshawe's agreement, so the narrator was troubled about it, and was swayed with the shadow of Fanshawe. Letters written by Fanshawe Letters by Fanshawe from the tanker in France were a literary form or method of Fanshawe to leave and tell his memories and history, usually letters made real experiences private messages. Fanshawe sent letters to his sister Ellen, but actually, his mother checked and stocked them, and they remained his traces and history. Detective, 
different to the former two novels of the New York trilogy, City of Glass and Ghosts. This novel is not a story model detective stories, but the narrator searched Fanshawe like a detective, and this novel owns the structure of hide and seek and searching riddles, and the theme and the structure of this novel resembles City of Glass and Ghosts. A locked room. In a locked room of a country house in South France, Fanshawe condemned to a mystical solitude. He found a sage way into a self and wrote his works. The narrator realized Fanshawe still lived there and the lock room was located inside the narrator's skull. The Red Notebook Fanshawe said he wrote his history and details on the Red Notebook, but the narrator thought their final purpose was to cancel each other out from the notebook also he felt one of great lucidity. A red notebook appeared on Astor's first novel City of Glass. Daniel Quinn wrote informations and cues about the case of Peter Stillman on the red notebook. Later, Astor published the book titled The Red Notebook was consisted for autobiographical stories. Riddles on this novels are below. Why Fanshawe disappeared from his family. The contents of Fanshawe's writings. Is Fanshawe in Chapter 8 the actual person? Interpretations and Analysis The title The Lock Room means a lock room of a country house in South France, where Fanshawe had shut himself up. The room is the metaphor of Fanshawe's lock, true intention and mind, and it also was located in the narrator's mind. Different to Astor's former two novel, this novel doesn't model on detective stories, but this novel is a story of hide and seek, to search Fanshawe's whereabouts and riddles, and the narrator said his act was like a detective. The main and exterior story of this novel is to seek Fanshawe's whereabouts and true intention, but the true theme of this novel is philosophical questions to what are today's human identity and the meaning and the meaninglessness of life and writing, and considerations on to create a story and its difficulty. I think this novel is a novel about writing which is composed by written by writing novels and texts by Fanshawe and the narrator. I think this novel is autobiographical novel of Vasta. Episodes and histories of the narrator and Fanshawe resemble his real experiences appeared on his autobiographical essay The Art of Hunger. So I think Astor reflected his past real experiences on two ambivalent characters Fanshawe and the narrator. So Fanshawe is young Astor and the narrator is Astor as a writer. In this novel there are many elements of self-parody and self-reference. Fanshawe's personal history resembles Astor's one, the narrator wrote City of Glass, Ghosts and the Locked Room. Names of colors the narrator named were the same as the characters appeared on Ghosts and so on. Fanshawe was the alter ego for the other self of the narrator. The more the narrator pursued for and thought about Fanshawe, he felt difficulty and complexity like looking at himself for his doppelganger, and Asta reflected himself on the two characters. So I think this complexity might be arose from the self-referring it as Asta sees Asta himself. Letters and biography are comparative literary methods in this novel. To write a biography is to consist a consistent story of a person, to write other's story, to pass and erase a real personal life, and to make private life, personality and informations public but also a paradoxical act in which the author doesn't exist and Fanshawe's biography would be a story of a storyteller, Inspire of the narrator was a writer and wanted to write his original novel.
I think there's a triple self-affirmation and storytelling structure was constructed by each one of Fanshawe, the narrator and Aster. The narrator described things about Fanshawe, Aster described things about the narrator, and Fanshawe, by this self-affirmation structure, this novel expresses an answerless question of what are writing and the self. This novel is slippery one, for example, there's no description of content of Fanshawe's writings, and there are no answer, result and destination. Also this novel is a writing about writing or a novel about writing novel. And words of Fanshawe's Red Notebook was their final purpose was to cancel each other out, also the notion can apply to this novel. The content of this novel is to cancel each other out, so there was no answer and solution, and only a state of contradiction was remain. No answer should be the answer of this novel and the consequence of the New York trilogy. I think, in this novel, by his excellent self-reference method and storytelling style, Asked to succeed in expressing a question and a problem about a writer novel via to write this novel.